What's going on everybody? Nizu here. Uh, for those that don't know, I love art. I like to look at it. I like to collect it. I like to display it. Uh, especially if it's video game inspired because I love games even more. And the more classic and retro it is, the better. Mike Mitchell is an artist from Austin, Texas. And a lot of his artwork is heavily influenced by classic video games. And I found out about him uh, last year sometime while poring over artwork on eBay one day. Uh, he's got this series called Super. It's very minimalist. It's just a guy in, uh, in the classic superhero pose dressed as various characters. And a lot of these characters are inspired by video games, uh, comics, and various pop icons and personalities from classic and modern TV shows or movies. Well, I've collected quite a few of them, and I just thought I would show you what I've got. Uh, I'm trying to collect all of the video game inspired pieces, and I've got all except for a couple which I'm still searching for. Some prints are more rare or limited than others. Uh, most of them are signed and numbered on the back. And the only way to get these prints at the time were either on his website or Comic-Con. Uh, he usually had a booth at Comic-Con and sold his artwork there, from what I understand. The other way to get them, of course, was on eBay, which is how I got most of these. So I'll start with all of the game-related artwork, and I'll try to go in order according to series. So this is Link, obviously, from The Legend of Zelda, and uh, he had a run of, this print had a run of 250, and his signature is in pencil which I didn't really understand because over time pencil will fade but the print itself will not um, all of these prints are the same size four by six and they're printed on this heavy stock paper called uh, portfolio rag um, and it's printed using archival inks which are guaranteed not to fade for uh, like a hundred years I think they say uh, so that is Link. I'll put that to the side. Next we've got Mega Man. Uh, this is from, I think this is, this is from Series 3. Link is from Series 2. Mega Man is from Series 3. And this one is not signed, but it is numbered. And like I said, uh, sorry my camera won't focus. Um, some are more limited than others. Good God, focus, man, please. Um, <laughs> good God, focus. So uh, this had a run of 99. It will, it, it just won't focus. Um, and I've turned every single light on in my in my apartment right now. Uh, so that is Mega Man. This is from Series Three. Here we have the Prince from Katamari. get in a little closer. I just love the colors. They're just bright and vibrant. Classic superhero pose. Uh, this is 12 out of 99. This one is not signed, but it's numbered. That is, uh, this one is from series three as well. Next we have Toad from the world of Super Mario. And this one is very rare. It, uh, see what the run is 105 but from what I understand you could only get this particular print if you purchased all of series 3 together at Comic-Con whatever year that was I think it was a few years ago um, and there's a total of 16 prints in series 3 so that was the only way you could get this one so this one is pretty rare and very happy to have it in my collection. Next is Luigi, and this is from 
Series 4 or the Sidekick, side, sorry, the Sidekick series. And I really like this one because normally we see, you know, artwork of Mario and hardly do we ever see Luigi in the spotlight. So that's why I really like this one. Uh, this one is signed. It's a run of 100. And um, characters I don't have. Uh, video game related characters I don't have that I'm still looking for are uh, Sonic the Hedgehog from Series 1, I believe, and Lara Croft from Series 5, the, the British series, which he just released. So those two I'm looking for. Try to check eBay regularly to... Uh, try to see if I could find them, but I've I've never seen Sonic on sale uh, ever. So I don't know if I find it. I imagine it's probably going to be expensive. So um, I do have some others. They're not video game related, but I will show you. Uh, this is Wonder Woman, <laughs> and. Uh, I, one thing that I love about this series is the, the total disregard for gender. Female characters with a male physique. It's hilarious. Uh, this is from series one. This one is signed and numbered. Run of 125. Uh, next we have Ralphie from A Christmas Story. I uh, just love that movie. Just, uh, just a very nostalgic movie for me. And this one is, this one is actually pretty rare. This one only had a, a run of eighty. So, yeah, this one is pretty rare too. And I actually wanted to frame these two together. Um, this is Max from Where the Wild Things Are. And uh, I kind of wanted to frame these together because, well, first of all, they're both wearing pajamas. And they also remind me of when I was young and sort of capture a, a similar stage of adolescence and youth. Uh, Where the Wild Things Are was one of my favorite books growing up. And this one is signed and numbered. Uh, so that is Ralphie and Max, and then uh, I'll come back to this one. So I've actually got a couple here that I have already framed, and this is C-3PO and Chewbacca from Star Wars. And these two are actually from different series, and I've brought them together and framed them together, and uh, this is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, C-3PO is from Series 2, and Chewie is from Series 4, the Sidekick series. And for those who are curious, um, for any artwork that I have that has, that is numbered and signed on the back, especially um, the smaller pieces of artwork, a good way to frame them is with these floating frames. You basically trap the artwork between two pieces of glass and you can just easily flip it over and look at whatever's on the back. So, and it keeps your artwork nice and protected and you can easily just toss it up on the shelf and or swap the, swap the artwork out. And what do we have here? C-3PO had a run of 100 and Chewie had a run of 200. These are both signed and numbered. Uh, oh, sorry, was it C-3PO? Sorry, C-3PO had a run of 200, and Chewie had a run of 100. So, yeah, I really like this one. It's framed because uh, I've got it displayed in my room at the moment. Uh, I've also got another one that's framed and uh, this is from the world of Batman and this is Robin, Harley Quinn and the Joker and these are from different series as well 
Uh, actually, Robin and Harley Quinn are from the same series. Uh, I think it's the Sidekick series, series four. And the Joker is from series two. And I have these in a floating frame as well. And uh, you can get these frames pretty cheap at like Michael's. I think I got a batch. The last batch I got, I used a coupon. Hope you can see that. That's the, I think that's the Joker. Run of 250. And then these are very low numbers. Harley Quinn and Robin are both number two. Two out of 100. Um, all signed. So, um, yeah, anyways, I got a batch of floating frames from Michael's one weekend with a coupon. It was like a 50% off your entire purchase. And I got these frames for like $5 each. Those are the ones that I have framed at the moment. And the last one I'm going to show you, uh, this is Pinocchio. run of 99 um, this was a, a preemptive purchase because he actually has there's actually a Mickey Mouse in series one that that I'm hoping that I find because I would love to frame Mickey Mouse and Pinocchio together I think that would be pretty cool uh, so there you have it my collection of supers from Mike Mitchell I will leave a link to his website in the description if anybody's interested I think he still has some of his British series for sale uh, on his website besides that if you are interested in any of his work uh, you can check eBay a lot of his artwork is there and uh, he's got several different series that he does they're all pretty amazing all pretty awesome uh, if you have any questions let me know if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more original content like this, uh, do me a favor and rate the video. A thumbs up or thumbs down, it really doesn't matter. Uh, either way, I would just appreciate it. And take care. This is Nizu. Later.